Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today had some users on YouTube that wanted to know they liked the cl clustered stacked column chart that we created. Um, however, uh, in the original series that I presented in the previous video, um, the budget colors for this first one here, the budget for radio and the actuals for radio, uh, were the same color and they wanted to know can they make the actuals different colors than the budget numbers. So let's go ahead and show you how we did that. Uh, now in the, this is our original data that we have and you can see if I go ahead and chart this like I was talking about, go up to insert, go to the insert column chart and we're going to do a stacked column chart. Now you'll notice uh, by using the power of Excel's multi-category axis uh, options, you can see we've got uh, product one, budget, and actuals, and so the color for budget and actuals are the same. People wanted to know how uh, this is radio. How can I uh, make the actuals different? Uh, it might be a little more confusing in my mind, but uh, let me show you how you can do that. So what you want to do is let's go ahead and make a copy of our original data. And I'm going to go ahead and do a control C to copy. I'm going to come over to column G and do control V to paste. So now you see we have an exact copy of our data. Um, and so we're going to make this one the budget and we're going to make the right one the actuals. So anywhere you have uh, the budget amount that's going to fit under this budget. So we don't want actuals. Let's go ahead and delete. I'm going to highlight and hit my delete key. Same thing for this. We don't want the actuals for product two since this is the budget section. Uh, then we're going to do just the opposite over in the actual section. We're going to highlight the budget and delete those. And we're going to highlight the budget for product two and delete those. So you notice we've created a budget section and then we've alternated for actuals over here. We still have our multi-category access. We're not going to uh, put this top two areas here in our chart. So we want to come to A2. We're going to highlight this entire range all the way over to J7, which is our actuals for internet. We're going to create the same chart. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to click on the insert column chart, and we're going to do a stacked column chart. Now, you'll, <clears throat> what you'll notice is uh, it has radio print. This doesn't look like the clustered stacked column chart that I had created. So what you want to do is go up to your design ribbon. And then in your design ribbon, your data area, you have the switch row and column. Once you do that, you will get uh, what looks like we have here is the uh, stacked clustered column chart with different colors for actuals uh, and different colors for data um, so that you can see um, and use that as a charting option within Excel. Now, like I said, I kind of see it as a little bit more confusing. I have to really say, okay, this blue color here, that is radio actuals for product one and product two, uh, as opposed to being able to compare and contrast. But maybe uh, it works for people, so I wanted to make sure you knew how to do that. One other thing, uh, you'll notice that uh, there is this long tick mark here. To get that long tick mark, what we've done is we've, over here in column A, five, I'm going to hit my delete key and you'll notice that tick mark goes away and product centers across that whole region. It's because what I did is I put a space over there in cell A5 and it's going to make this look like it's its own series. But since we don't have any uh, le uh, area for the X axis label, since it's just a space, um, it's going to put the long tick mark and uh, uh, it will not show any text for the label. Um, of the axis. So hopefully you find this helpful on creating multiple colors for your uh, clustered stacked column chart in Excel. Thank you.